last minute rehearsals, getting the steps correct, making sure the procession is perfect before the real ceremony this weekend. Thailand's King Maha Wachiralongorn delayed his coronation immediately after his father, King Pumipun Adunyade's death, saying he wanted time to mourn. But that was in October 2016. Rama Ten, as the kings also known, gave no reason for the extended delay. In Thailand's constitutional monarchy, the king holds limited political power, but its strict les majeste laws, designed to stop defaming the royal family, are used to stifle political dissent, landing many in jail. The ties between the army and the royal household run deep. And like many times in its history, the Thai military now controls the country after a coup five years ago. Somyot Pru Sa Ka Simsuk served seven years in jail after being convicted of Les Majeste. Released last year, he does not see those laws changing under Rama 10. The situation hasn't changed because the law still exists. The mechanisms that the state used to abuse people's rights are still there. Not only is the situation the same, it can take a turn for the worse. For millions of Thais, the monarch is viewed as a father figure. Wearing the king's color yellow, they flock this week to buy commemorative coronation pins. And earlier in the week, the king made a surprise announcement. He had married the deputy head of his personal security force and gave her the title Queen Sutida. This is the king's fourth marriage. As Thailand prepares for the $30 million coronation, it's an event that not many Thais have experienced before. And some who have see similar significance between Rama Ten's coronation and his father's. As it did in 1950 after the Second World War, the country is again facing a crossroads of how it will be governed for years to come. It is still waiting for final results of an election five weeks after polling day. But now they Sulak Sivalak saw the last coronation. He supports the royal family but is staunchly against the way governments have used the royal defamation law. Several times he faced charges before royal intervention. The monarchy is the only institution in this country that lasts for over 700 years. To get rid of it is very easy, but I think to preserve it is much, much more difficult. And I think, but it's worth preserving. I think that new king means very well about his country, and he wants to do something significant. And that's something the 200,000 Thais who are expected to witness the coronation will also be hoping for something significant, that the next chapter in the 237-year-old Chakri dynasty will see a peaceful political transition. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.